thanks for joining me. This video recording will be a guided practice of yoga nidra. So to practice yoga nidra, you'll be lying down in shavasana. You may want a yoga mat or a folded blanket to lie down on. You want a nice place where you can safely rest and meditate undisturbed for the duration of the practice. One more thing you might want to think of ahead of time is the sankalpa. Sankalpa is an intention. We want to develop a sankalpa that is succinct and positively worded, something that you can remember and that has meaning to you. So nothing petty, you can frame your son Kalpa in positive words in the present tense, and it should be something that you can remember easily. So if you need to pause the recording while you set yourself up, then we can begin the practice. So this practice is called Chakra Yoga Nidra, Yoga Nidra on the chakras, and I'm reading from a book called Kundalini Tantra by Swami Satyananda Saraswati. This is a book published by Yoga Publications Trust in Bihar, India. So, <clears throat> practice four. Chakra Yoga Nidra. Yoga Nidra can be used very effectively to develop your awareness of the chakras. Here is an example of a yoga nidra slash relaxation session, which includes visualization and rotation of awareness through the psychic centers. Teachers can adopt this practice directly for their classes. For personal use, someone can lead you through the practice or you can put the instructions onto a tape. Technique, stage one, preparation. Place a folded blanket on the floor and lie on it in Shavasana. Loosen your clothing so you feel perfectly comfortable. If necessary, cover yourself with a blanket to keep warm or put a sheet over you to keep insects away. The mouth and eyes should remain closed throughout the practice. Make sure that the spinal column is straight, in line with the head and neck, and that the hips and shoulders are fully relaxed. Keep the feet and legs slightly apart. The arms should be beside your body, but not touching, and the palms should be facing up. Adjust your position so that you feel perfectly comfortable. Tell yourself firmly that you will not move your body throughout the practice. Stage two, sinking of the body. Look at the space in front of your closed eyes. Imagine that the space surrounds your whole body. Your body is immersed in that space. Simultaneously be aware of your body. It feels very light, as light as a leaf falling from a tree. Imagine that your body is slowly sinking into the space that you see in front of your closed eyes, like a falling leaf. Your body is slowly sinking into the infinite space. Be aware of this feeling.
Continue in this manner for a few minutes. Stage three, rhythmical breath awareness. Become aware of your breathing. Awareness of the rise and fall of the navel with each breath. As you breathe in, feel you are sucking in air through the navel. As you breathe out, imagine that you are pushing air out from the navel. It is a rhythmical process. Do not alter the natural breath in any way. Just become aware of it. Stage four, Sankalpa. Repeat your Sankalpa in a short, positive sentence. It should be the crystallization of your spiritual aspiration and you should not change it. Repeat it with feeling from the heart, not the lips. Repeat your sankalpa at least three times. Stage five, visualization, body awareness. Now try to visualize your own body. Imagine that you are viewing it from outside. Feel that your perception is outside and your body is an object of study. You may find visualization difficult. Do not worry, but do your best. If you wish, you can imagine that there is a large mirror suspended over your body and that your body is reflected in it. Look at your own reflection. See your whole body, feet, knees, thighs, abdomen, chest, both hands, arms, 
shoulders, neck, head, mouth, nose, ears, eyes, eyebrow center, your whole face and your whole body. Combine rotation of awareness of each part with visualization of that part. Continue in this manner for a few minutes. Stage six, psychic centers, rotation of awareness. Now you have to discover the location of the chakras. You must develop awareness of each psychic center. Start from the base of the spine and move your awareness upward. First, become aware of Mula Dara. In the male body, it is situated in the perineum, between the anus and genitals. And in the female body, it is located at the cervix, the mouth of the womb. Try to feel the sensation at Mula Dara. It is a very specific point which you are trying to isolate. When you have found it, repeat mentally, Mula Dara, Mula Dara, Mula Dara. Now move on to the second chakra, Swadhisthana. It is located at the base of the spine in the coccyx. Be aware of the sensation at that point and repeat mentally, Swadhisthana, Swadhisthana, Swadhisthana. The third chakra is Manipura. It is located in the spine in line with the navel. Feel this point and repeat mentally, Manipura, Manipura, Manipura. Then become aware of Anahata Chakra, located in the spine, directly behind the center of the chest. Try to locate that point exactly and mentally repeat, Anahata, Anahata, Anahata. Now bring your awareness to Vishuddhi Chakra, situated in the spine, 
directly behind the throat pit. Feel the sensation arising at that point and mentally repeat Vishuddhi, Vishuddhi, Vishuddhi. The next chakra is Anya. Anya chakra is located at the very top of the spine in the region of the pineal gland, directly behind the eyebrow center. Fix your awareness on that area and mentally repeat Anya, Anya, Anya. Now bring your awareness to Bindu at the top back portion of the head. Feel that tiny point as precisely as possible and repeat mentally, Bindu, Bindu, Bindu. Finally, become aware of Sahasrara at the crown of the head and repeat mentally, Sahasrara, Sahasrara, Sahasrara. Now repeat this process, slowly descending through the chakras in reverse order. Sahasrara, Bindu, Ajna, Vishuddhi, Anahata, Manipura, Swadhisthana, and Muladhara. This is one complete round of chakra rotation. Now start a second round. Muladhara. Swadhisthana. Manipura. Anahata, Vishuddhi, Anya, Bindu, Sahasrara, Sahasrara, Bindu, Ajna, Vishuddhi, Anahata, Manipura, Swadhisthana, Muladhara. This completes the second round. Begin a third round, this time a little faster. As you fix your attention at each point, try to feel a slight vibration there, a tiny pulsation. If you wish, you can chant OM mentally as you locate each point in turn. Practice at least five rounds and as many more as time permits.
Stage seven, psychic centers, visualization. Now try to visualize the symbols of each chakra. You can use your own personal system of psychic symbols or the traditional chakra symbols as follows. As each chakra is named, try to feel that point being lightly pressed by the thumb and simultaneously visualize the symbol. The psychic symbol for Mula Dhara is a deep red four-petaled lotus. Inside, there is a smoky lingam around which a snake is coiled three and a half times. The snake's head is facing upward. Try to visualize this symbol to the best of your ability and associate it with that particular location in the body. Then proceed to Swadhisthana Chakra. The symbol is a six-petaled vermilion lotus within which is depicted a starry night above the sea. The main focal point is the crescent moon. Try to visualize this symbol. Move to Manipura Chakra. It is symbolized by a ten-petaled yellow lotus and in the center is blazing fire. Visualize this symbol, imagining that the lotus is actually growing from Manipura Chakra. Proceed to Anahata Chakra, represented by a 12 petaled blue lotus. In the center is a solitary flame burning in the darkness. Try to visualize this symbol while feeling the exact position in the body. Move to Vishuddhi Chakra, symbolized by a 16-petaled purple lotus. In the middle, there is a pure white drop of nectar. Visualize this location in the body. Then proceed to Ajna Chakra, which is symbolized by a two-petaled -petal, silver-gray lotus. On the left-hand petal is the full moon, and on the right-hand petal, a glowing sun. In the center is a black lingam and an Om sign. Create a mental image of this symbol and its exact location. Move on to Bindu. It is symbolized by a tiny white drop of nectar. Visualize this symbol at the top back of the head. Finally, move to Sahasrara, 
the fountainhead of all the chakras. It is represented by a thousand petal lotus. In the center is a white lingam. Visualize this symbol at the crown of the head. Now visualize all these symbols in the reverse order. Sahasrara. Bindu. Anya. Vishuddhi. Anahata. Manipura, Swadhisthana, and Muladhara. This is the end of round one. Spend a few seconds visualizing each center. Do a few more rounds according to the amount of time available. Stage eight, eyebrow center awareness. Fix your attention at the eyebrow center. Feel your pulse at this point. Become aware of its continuous rhythmical beat. Mentally synchronize repetition of the mantra OM with this pulse. Continue for a few minutes. Stage nine, Sankalpa, ending the practice. Repeat your Sankalpa three times with full emphasis and feeling. Become aware of your natural breath. Become aware of your whole physical body. Become aware of the outer sense perceptions. Slowly begin to move your body.
when you have fully externalized your awareness, slowly sit up and open your eyes. This concludes the practice of Yoga Nidra. I hope you enjoyed this recording. Namaste.